Hello again, Red Ring fans. Uh, how's it going? I haven't uh, posted a video for quite some time. Thank you for following me, and uh, just, uh, if you guys know, I'm not a big uh, proponent of editing, because I'm too lazy and I don't know how. So these are just raw, impromptu videos, of course. And um, I do these just so you can see all the different types of Red Wings that are out there. It's purely for your pleasure and for your information. I'm not here to you know, gain, gain a lot of likes or whatever. I mean, it's fine if you do. It's, the comments is cool, but I try to answer them, but um, you know, I don't always get to them and they don't really show up in my email. So uh, I pretty much have everything I need, I think. I don't have any big you know, wants that I, you know, these boots I'm lusting for. I think I've got everything, you know. I mean, you've seen most of them. I guess the 4545 um, Spitfire Wrench Monkeys, you know, those are kind of cool. You know, they're super rare, obviously. That's probably the only reason I'd want to get them is because they're just so rare. But, you know, I'll think, I'm not going to get them, and they're super expensive and super rare, as you probably well know. So, not going to happen. I don't have to have them. I'd like to wear the 8117s, but man, that would compete with all the different um, Iron Rangers that I already have. I have the 8113s, the famous uh, the Hawthorne Abilene Mule Skinners. I've, ha I've got those already. Those are my favorites. I had those for, I don't know, easily four years before I even picked up a second pair. Then all of a sudden I picked up a pair of 8111s because somebody was selling them fairly cheap, 140 shipped, you know, for a used pair. So I just grabbed them, you know, but I really don't really wear them that much. Uh, and then I, um, see, what else did I get? Oh, then I did pick up those um, Indians, the 4313s, no, 40, I don't even remember the number, 43, yeah, I think that, that sounds right. 4313s, I think they are. It's the Indian uh, collaborations, the eight inch, and I wore those a lot and they got pretty scuffed up. I took them hiking a couple times been wearing them quite a bit. They're eight inches and uh, they're nice uh, because I guess they're really um, comfortable, super comfortable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they fit me perfectly and um, yeah, they were they were slightly used and I beat them up pretty good. I think I, I guess I could do a follow-up video on that to show how much they're beat up. And this, 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 this is the fourth pair of Iron Rangers that I have gotten. And these I like because they are I don't know, you can't tell probably, but they are actually the, they, the color, they call it um, white ash. So it's the 8011, and it is um, on the Munson Last. I love the Munson Last. The Munson Last is so nice because there's so much tow room. I am an eight and a half E, and the, I have to size up to nine D's to be comfortable. I've had a couple of eight and a halfs. I thought I'd try them, eight D, eight and a half D's. They just don't do it for me. I haven't had one pair that's comfortable. So I, I definitely have to go with nine D. And so it's a little bit long, I get it, you know, half size too long, but I need the width. And they don't come in width sizing. Some of them do, but I don't want to pay. So anyway, yeah, these are eight and a half, or these are nine D's. These, I have a new pair also that I have an eight and a half so I bought a couple pairs just to kind of, you know, yeah, you know what I do with them. So I have a pair of eight and a half and they feel pretty good actually. These, cause the Munson last is so nice and comfortable. It's like, it's almost like a square toe, you know, it's not square, but it's not pointy and narrow. And so it's just so nice. So these are nines. I took them cause they were, you know, factory seconds, um, used, and uh, you know eBay, whatever, decent price. Not, I didn't get a great deal on them, but way cheaper than the brand, the you know full price. The full price is 360, and so I got these for uh, you know decent price. I think 320 actually. But these are cool because well, and I'm not too really crazy about the um, what is that called? The broguing, I guess they call it brogue. Oops, I can't get this thing lined up on the camera. There you go. The brogue, I'm not like super cool with, but. At least it's not a wingtip brogue, so it's still pretty subtle. So it's not bad, not bad. But I prefer not having broguing, it just seems too dressy to me. But these are kind of dressy because the leather is super like shiny and smooth. But what I like about them 
is that white ash reminds me of the 9013, the 9013 Beckman, which in case you don't know what color that is, it's the chestnut. And it's a very, very nice, almost like a yellow, orangey, you know, kind of like the gold russet sequoia, I suppose. But it would be, so this is the equivalent of an, um, an Iron Ranger in chestnut, but it's not really good. They don't call it chestnut, it's white ash. But I'd say it's pretty close to that. It's almost the same color as the chestnut Beckman's. So it's a chestnut Iron Ranger. And you know me, I prefer the nickel eyelets, but actually these do look a little better with non-nickel eyelets. These are painted brown, I think. And so uh, it's got the, what is it, the speed lacing hooks, speed hooks, speed laces, speed hooks. And I did a, I'll do a demonstration sometime about how, I was, you've seen them online, where how you can do speed lacing where you don't have to really crisscross, you just kind of like pull it back and forth and it's real fast. That's why they call them speed laces, I suppose. But anyway, uh, what else can I say about these? Super comfortable, oh my gosh, the width is just perfect, perfect, perfect. I love them. And of course, the infamous, famous, infamous nitrile corks. And what I noticed is my 8113s, they're more dense and a little bit harder. I don't think it's because they're older, but I think they're just harder. They're, they're not as springy. These are actually kind of rubbery, you know, like very, um, I don't know, they just seem a little bit more cushiony and they're not wearing out as much. I've worn them quite a bit, probably for a couple weeks. And I don't know if you can see the heel, but the heel doesn't have much wear for a couple weeks. I, I, I hit pretty hard. I have a pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty heavy strike on my heels. But these are pretty durable, I suppose. But it seems like they use a different compound, a little bit more um, forgiving, a little bit more rubber uh, cushiony, I guess I could say. And so therefore, even the the bottoms aren't even very much worn. If you see, I can't line these. I don't know how to look. This camera is upside down. So yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but there's not much wear. It has like that little rough texture on it. And it's still pretty rough in texture. It's not smooth yet. But again, I've only, I guess I've only worn them for like two weeks, maybe three. But almost every day, on, you know, on a little bit of asphalt, some concrete. And right now I'm in a, a classroom with a linoleum floor, so that's very low friction. But anyway, so kind of cool, you know, cool Iron Ranger, obviously. God, I had no idea that there's like 30 different Iron Rangers and different kinds of leather. But this one is called the White Ash. And apparently it's been out for a year or two, but I didn't, I just never got a pair. So they came up, grabbed them. I was a little bit reluctant because again, it's taking away the time on my 8113s. I don't get, they don't get much action anymore. Not much uh, ride time. But yeah, these are cool. And then of course the, um, the Indian collabs. Okay, I think that's 4313, Spirit Lakes, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, those get a lot of action too. Like they switch off with these and then I try to wear my my 43, uh, 4372s. I think that's called 4372, 4273, I don't know. Can't keep track of those numbers anymore. And it's the um, the engineers, right? The Kangatan engineers. So I try to get those in there occasionally and then that's about it. 2966s, those are engineers with the Klondike, with the soft toe. So, I, that's about it. I don't. I don't. I wish I could watch. I could wish I had, could wear them all more often. But I, and I favor these because they're just so comfortable. Oh my gosh, they're, yeah, very comfortable. And so are the Spirit Lakes. Spirit Lake, that leather I talked about it already is just so comfortable. So I'm rambling on and uh, don't know what else to tell you other than the leather's pretty soft on these too. They've softened up real quick. I mean, like I said, they didn't come real stiff like the um, the Beckmans. The Beckmans, man, those things are still stiff. I can't even break those in. I have a pair of 9013s that are super old. I mean, they were used already by somebody else, and then I wore them quite a bit, and the, man, they're still stiff. I mean, in the, the foot, I mean, the, um, yeah, the foot area and the shaft. The shaft is a little bit softer, but the foot area, still stiff, man. They, they are stiff. I don't, I don't, and you know me, I don't, I don't condition any of my boots. I don't put anything on them nothing sometimes i dust them off occasionally i've used a wet rag on a couple but not really 
but I'll use a paintbrush, those four inch paintbrushes, and kind of just dust off the, if I take them hiking and they get real dusty, but not, not occasionally, I, I just let them, I just wear them. I have so many, I don't have time to condition. This is, I think it's, but I crack up. There's so many people on uh, this forum I go to. It's called the Red Wings, Red Wings Social Club, I think it's called. And so many guys, when can I, when, how often should I, uh, um, how often should I condition them? What should I use? I want to condition them before I use them. Should I condition them every day, uh, every other week? You know, it's like, uh, I don't know. If you like doing that stuff, I guess it's kind of cathartic to condition your shoes, but I don't know. I want them to develop some kind of patina and just, I don't know, low maintenance. Now, their boots, you know, I get it. And if I ever wear it to a wedding or a funeral, okay, great. I might wipe them down or something. But so check it out. This kind of irks me. This is such a nice, you know, finished leather. And these guys, you know, they laugh that I complain. But if you notice, the toe got nicked and the first time. And, you know, these are kind of dressy. There's two nicks on it. And this side even has a nick, a really small nick. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm not sure where it was. I just saw it the other day. Oh, right there on the tip. Yeah, little white nick. Yeah, nicks are bad. Uh, you know, uh, Scuffs are okay. Scuffs, you know, the color goes away a little bit. I like that. That's okay. But a nick is kind of permanent. You know, it's like a cut. I don't like cuts, nicks. Yeah, that kind of kind of bothers me. I mean, it's like, oh, it's, you know, kind of hurts. But if it's rubbed off, like, you know, abraded, then that's fine. And it's got a little brown, you know, on the on the seam, on the, where, the, where it bends. There's a little, some brown stuff. I don't know how that got there. And it is kind of, a little bit of a patina on the side. There's some dirt buildup or some rubbing against whatever. And I said, you know, <laughs> these are not work boots whatsoever. They are. I'm a teacher. I, they're just teaching shoes. I call them teaching shoes. Yeah, I just wear them in the classroom, and that's my job. And I wear them around the house. You know, don't tell my wife that, but I wear them in the house sometimes. I know it's an Asian thing. They got to take their shoes off and stuff. But. Okay, yeah, so pretty cool. These are the latest of the Red Wing purchases and wearing. Had them for about maybe three weeks now, two, three weeks, so kind of old. I usually try to do the review really quick, but okay, so hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll try to keep uh, bringing on more uh, videos. I know I have a couple more shoes that I haven't probably reviewed, but anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, get Red Wings, man. They're the coolest. <laughs>